diagram shows this interesting network of resistors, all the same resistance. What is the total resistance between point X and point Y? If you're finding the total or combined resistance, just assume that, you know, connect to a battery like this. Lah. But this one's not too complicated, so we can still kind of see it for ourselves. So let's combine those in parallel first. There's one group here and one group here. And we can simplify it. So we have... Hmm, the shortcut, I kind of know the shortcut already, but I, I'm going to write out the working as well. So for this, this middle section, you want to find the combined resistance, you take 1 over R plus 1 over R and you invert it. So that's 2 over R or half R. Okay, in the same value you combine, they become halved. So what happens if you combine 3? They become 1 third. But never mind, let's draw it out. Let's, let's write out the calculation. So this one, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, invert. This will give us 3 over 1 over 3. Sorry, 1 over R, what am I saying? That will give us 3 over R, and when you flip it over, that's R over 3. So it's 1 third. Mmm, 1 third R. So at the end of the day, now that we have simplified them, we can kind of redraw the circuit to have this as R, half R, and 1 over 3 R. So your R total, you need to add them all together. R plus 1 over 2 R plus 1 over 3 R. And you can press in your calculator. Just take 1 plus half plus 1 over 3. Then your calculator will show you 11 over 16. But don't forget, these are all in terms of R, so we can add an R there. So 11 over 16 R, that will be C, which will give us the best choice. Okay, so remember the equations to combine resistors in series, resistors in parallel. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.